I tried to get here earlier to record uh, some tests for a new software that I'm trying to use for a research purpose and um, I did not make it to see the sunset but it's going to be another day maybe tomorrow I'll leave the office earlier my speech is a bit impaired I went for a trip yesterday got home very late uh, by two o'clock I went to bed wake up in the morning seven o'clock work 10 hours at the office drive here uh, so I'm um, still breathing air um, not far from the airport uh, usually the sunsets are pretty beautiful here I went on the grass uh, uh, I got one uh, Foot a bit soaked, and um, now uh, I will uh, share some thoughts after watching a number of videos uh, posted by people who went through some spiritual uh, experiences. But you don't have to watch those and uh, consider valuable for you. But I spent some time to study not only the human behavior, but this type of experiences and uh, see what's common, uh, what's the common theme on these things and how people uh, make and um, build a, this type of deities and experiences in their mind. Because for them, these are very real. If someone tells you that they saw uh, they saw Jesus or they saw Mary uh, the Virgin or uh, Saint, Saint Nicholas or someone like that. Um, that experience, that experience is real. Uh, if someone tells you that they saw UFOs, uh, also that experience is real for them. Uh, everyone is a a system, in sort of an independent system that is building own reality through five senses and we don't know if we all live in some co cocoon or some sort of a computer chip somewhere uh, like a matrix type of uh, scenario or we are uh, still into a simulation but still uh, are able to connect to each other but in our realm and the way we are programmed to understand this reality that we are all building in a, and this understanding uh, we connect to each other we share ideas we share thoughts emotions and we build a world we are building a, a, a better, a bigger world when we are connecting, connected than when we are not connected. As independent creatures, we are very limited. That's a, like a mili military type of aircraft. This is not a... Yeah, it's different style, I don't know, but it looks like a very dark and camouflaged military style. Yesterday I saw objects in the skies and nobody knows, there is nothing on the news about it. And it was a bit scary to see those things in the sky. Anyway, something is going on, maybe, maybe it's preparing country for some sort of a big thing I can't say anyway but that's uh, in a human world uh, where lots of people are suffering and they have a war in their mind it's a big war in their mind and uh, we don't see that we see it and feel it only when it touches us but uh, otherwise like I said we are like biological machineries uh, made out of energy uh, and made in a way through five senses and to channels of communication and exchange, exchanging of data in a way that everyone is experiencing a certain type of reality and uh, 
uh, I, I explained in, with my own terms and ideas in a previous video about this type of concept, about opening ports and closing ports, why people would open ports, is to exchange information and data with another biological machine, so let's say uh, emotions of love with a dog, or uh, you exchange data to build something with your co-worker, or you exchange data to get some shopping done with your spouse, or exchange hate with someone who hates you and you want to <laughs> give some back, right? That you share the same emotion. Um, so those are open ports, invisible spiritual energy ports that people open and close. And some people uh, are close to everything. You can't talk to those people. They are very isolated, very isolated, probably due to some trauma. You can't open the love port to those people. Even you go to them, uh, they are still not talking to you, not uh, saying anything, not uh, accepting love, hugs, food. Uh, generally, it's because they were uh, emotionally hurt. And uh, while the kids, the kids are fully open, fully open. That's why uh, lots of kids experience uh, visions of. Uh, or feelings, uh, they sense different entities. Why? Because they are fully open. They are, when they are born coming here, they are born to learn to survive, thrive and survive, and they uh, are programmed to learn to connect with uh, the people they trust, which are the, the parents or the caregivers, and they open these ports, and they are taught to open the ports for love and stuff like that. And. Uh, why they would open the port for love? Because it feels good. It's a human emotion, it's a human need, but also it feels good. And same thing, when the, the person gets fed, it opens certain ports, like they gain trust. Same thing the hackers do to the machines. Uh, they gain trust of it in order to uh, get access. And. Uh, in that way they open ports and they they steal data or they do harm to that system uh, if you have a, a boss or if you have a uh, a neighbor or uh, your spouse friend and you know that person is uh, did harm others in the past so that person did something malicious to other people, like uh, stabbed in the back, uh, I don't know, uh, gossiping, uh, stealing spouses, <laughs> like uh, fucking other people, wives or husbands, stuff like that. So these are low vibe people and if you notice those people are coming uh, to you and uh, become sweet and uh, they try to talk nice and you know offer you something generally food because food it's a it's a key element to open ports open love uh, it doesn't work to me <laughs> i don't take food uh, from people it's uh, i don't know i'm close to that uh, my, my ports uh, accepting uh, food or love from a stranger is uh, close uh, I'm like that, and uh, but lots of people uh, are open, getting, uh, getting, especially uh, at the pub. When people go to the pub, they have these open ports and they get drinks, <laughs> yeah, from strangers and get what? Get raped. Uh, if that, those people are malicious, so how you recognize that is difficult. You have to have the sense. Uh, you have to have a sharp sense to detect those people uh, because they will uh, come to you they will offer you food drinks or something and they will uh, open your heart or different other ports or gateways and they will uh, extract the data to find your vulner vulnerability same thing hackers do uh, they find uh, find the vulnerability uh, by sending you nice emails offers you know, when you get emails with uh, some nice free free stuff, press here, click, click. Okay, so that's a malicious attack. 
someone is trying to open the ports for you. I, uh, no, uh, your ports, yeah, they, to allow you, no, to allow them uh, to get access to your system, to steal from you, to harm you, like uh, do manipulate your energy. So your energy is very valuable, but if you don't protect it, if you open ports to strangers, uh, you expose your energy to, to attacks, to, 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 to theft. So you, if you understand a bit of the computers and hacking, then you understand these spiritual attacks uh, go uh, based on the same principles. Uh, they exploit human emotions. And uh, I just mentioned about these uh, malicious people who are actually infected by demonic uh, uh, viruses as since they were uh, like a, uh, since their childhood, uh, they had some emotional problems. Let's say if you see narcissists, narcissists are usually exploiting your weak, weak, uh, weak points, weak spots, weak data, or uh, your vulnerabilities. And um, it's it is being said about uh, narcissists that they had some. Uh, childhood trauma or uh, childhood neglect or stuff like that so uh, they did not receive love so it's true in most cases so if you see a narcissist or uh, someone who is trying to get closer to you uh, you need to keep your guard on you don't open your heart to any t any uh, any stranger like that or even it's someone at work or uh, a neighbor uh, if you have the history of that person, uh, study it, <laughs> study it and see what's the, their purpose, why they suddenly become friendly, okay, especially from a person who does not know love. So if you see uh, someone who shares love with everyone, yes, that person is looking for love, is looking to give love. Right? So it's an exchange of data. But uh, if you see this person who's uh, just uh, coming out, out of nowhere, it's, uh, you hear this boss or this uh, person uh, got people in trouble. If he was a boss, he fired a bunch of people just out of nowhere. He's a control freak. Uh, so you need to see these uh, characters. recognize and uh, don't open your ports just like that you know like uh, you can exchange some information but don't open the, your uh, vulnerable spots and uh, also I uh, want to touch something before the night comes here <laughs> it comes down and gets very cold um, again the kids are very vulnerable they have uh, these open ports they don't know how to protect their uh, energy um, then people who suffer uh, emotional abuse those are looking for love are looking for for someone who offer compassion and someone to talk to and they open ports they have open ports and if they uh, open the ports to uh, malicious people of course uh, they get this type of attacks because they are very very easy prey uh, like uh, old people who are alone and looking for love, they open some ports. And you see, they get hacked. <laughs> like uh, not only their mail, but their, uh, their uh, data in the computers, their, their uh, assets, people lose homes, you know, because they are so vulnerable and they open uh, their heart to bad people. So bad people, like I said, they uh, have their own poisoning, their uh, virus, in installed by maybe parents or installed as kids by uh, uh, bad people they got in contact with. Like some people got raped, uh, got uh, into some trauma, physical abuse, and those people actually got uh, a virus uh, or uh, got implanted with a... Uh, with, uh, malicious code that is controlling their mind and uh, actually they don't know what they are doing but 
uh, still you don't want to feed their uh, their needs because they 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 are uh, attackers who want to uh, enslave and they want to recruit other people uh, because they are all controlled by the same uh, large demonic force larger as a as a spiritual power and this uh, they want as many recruits as possible in this realm so they inject different people some people uh, get uh, baptized under the satan other people uh, or the, this type of demonic forces uh, other people uh, they enslave themselves by uh, selling their souls in exchange for power so they get some power because they never had power as kids and they uh, they sell their souls so that's okay that's a different topic but let me let me go to those who uh, suffered of uh, sexual abuse as kids when uh, I had to uh, come with some sort of introduction. Why? Because uh, I, I wanted to help you understand about open ports and why certain people are more vulner vulnerable than others. Uh, from your perspective, if you are a wise person or if you know uh, street language or if you have a life experience, yeah, you, you call them just a vulnerable people. But if you are a technical person and if you are an atheist, you might get half of, half of what I said, but just take what's useful. So don't take my uh, spiritual cup that I'm sharing here uh, as valuable uh, stuff for you. If you're an atheist or if you're agnostic, that's totally fine. I do respect your, your belief system or non-belief system. And uh, I'm saying that uh, I... Uh, I made an analogy so it's easier for you to understand from the technical perspective. So humans are biological machines and you need to think in a computer or human term to make it easier for you to understand. Uh, if you don't have life experience, let's say if you were, uh, if you were pampered the whole life and you are now like a 25 year or 20 years old adult, young adult and you don't have a your life experience but you got hurt someone raped you okay so someone uh, uh, physical abused you or took advantage of you or something and uh, your parents were not around to teach you stuff when you were younger your parents were busy at work or maybe you are an older person and if you're an older person and uh, you now have less money in your bank account you live out of retirement uh, and you had uh, you had it easy. You had you went to school, you went to work, uh, and you had the kind of uh, all the same. But you never dealt with low-level people because you lived in different world, and now you uh, have less resources, and you start getting in contact with uh, less pleasant people. Uh, life change and. Uh, you don't have experience even your 50 60 years old person you don't have the experience to deal with these people and uh, your kids are away and you have that heart open to receive love you need love you're craving for love or you want to give love and stuff you don't know and uh, you give love to wrong people you receive uh, or you open the port for uh, love and actually people get into your heart and steal your data, steal your money, uh, your energy actually. Anyway, so uh, if, if you experienced uh, this type of spiritual attacks, uh, like uh, a sexual abuse, maybe the person didn't know what the person was doing. Um, I know someone who uh, was sexually touched as a kid, as a, as a boy, as a boy. And there are lots of boys who've been touched by priests in a Catholic church, but not only, but those are uh, cases that go to the media and uh, you learn about that. Otherwise you think, uh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the world. Some uh, predators are, uh, are uh, 
are preying on this easy to attack or uh, easy victims which are the kids like i said open hearts open ports and especially when the, this person is a trusty person it's like a, the kid has open heart and have full trust into into this into these people and um it's like uh, these kids get a virus and what happens if, uh, if the kid is not uh, getting into some sort of a sexual uh, weird behavior uh, the kid might grow up with shame shame for own body could be a girl could be a boy and it, it's a it's a it's a big big trauma the kids don't know how to talk about how to fix it uh, there is not much of an experience I mean counselors they uh, they listen 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 uh, but uh, how many uh, how many people they deal with every day maybe they have four or five patients a day or people they talk and after a couple of years of counseling people or uh, dealing with uh, all sorts of weird stories and uh, drama, uh, drama and trauma, uh, they don't have the same passion as the counselors. They don't have. Um, I had a car accident a couple of years ago and the doctor sent me to see a counselor because I'm getting panic attacks every time uh, I'm getting pain. And the doctor said, yeah, you should see a counselor because it helps you to kind of uh, deal with uh, pain and life and stuff. Okay. And I noticed that it was a total bullshit session when uh, the person was not really present. I was talking to someone who was not present uh, during the session. So the counselor was like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, but no practical advice no and I, what i'm saying uh, if you suffered for uh, if you suffered of uh, sexual abuse or uh, physical trauma as a kid you need some you need to see someone who's a expert in those particular cases don't go to someone who claims that I do this and I do that and I do like a mechanic who repair everything uh, but they are not experts in in uh, most of those things they if you want to repair your or rebuild your engine uh, they might be able to change a hose or two but they send you to a specialized mechanic same thing if your heart is having trouble if you go to a GP or general practitioner uh, they might get some idea but they will send you to a specialist same thing with this uh, type of trauma so if you suffered of a physical or sexual abuse as a kid you need to seek special care from those who are experts into this type of cases I'm just giving you some general idea and uh, uh, some sort of uh, symptoms that these people experience uh, shame of being living in their body shame of their sexual uh, nature as a, as a human being um, uh, weird sexual or deviant uh, sexual behavior um, destructive sexual behavior towards their sexual organs uh, what else could be uh, over sexualizing the or uh, a, a very strong libido very uh, high pull for sexual behavior uh, it suggests that there is an imprint an energetic imprint that happens during that trauma uh, even appear to be a minor issue let's say uh, uh, an older boy I, I, I'll make up an, uh, kind of an, uh, an example an older boy is touching uh, a very young girl maybe she is six 
and he is 15 and he is full of hormones uh, possible because of his uh, age possible because of uh, being uh, dominated as a mind as an energy being dominated by a, a malicious uh, let's say uh, entity that is controlling this boy mind so the the boy maybe grew up into dysfunctional family or maybe the boy uh, uh, was uh, virused as a mind uh, with some sort of a entity that is causing the boy to look into uh, porn to be addicted to porn to be addicted to anything that provides the dopamine because the boy never received the real love so to supplement his lack of love the the, the boy will always look into the porn and the internet and gaming so it, it's very common even this day i mean mostly these days uh, to see the boys uh, addicted to gaming and porn and uh, this type of addictive behavior and uh, uh, not performing well at school or if they are young uh, workers uh, not be able not being able to keep a job or a relationship especially a relationship because they don't understand love and uh, they might want to receive it but they don't know how to offer it so they just get 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 and uh, of course the partner wants some and uh, uh, the relationship won't last and uh, these ones uh, if they uh, lack of sex uh, their mind is very uh, a focus on sexual uh, needs sexual desires and uh, lusty type of uh, thoughts and um, if they have these urges they will try to find an easy prey and they might go rape uh, uh, young girls or very common is to see these uh, young guys uh, using uh, a rape drug uh, going to recruit their victims in the pub and uh, drug drug them and uh, rape them so that's that's another common theme and uh, also social factors are affecting this type of behavior uh, in societies where this one is is not permitted is not uh, an accepted uh, behavior like uh, people uh, are being um, rejected from the society or from the from certain social groups uh, people at least uh, think twice before they do it why because they, they know there is a social policing uh, parents won't accept uh, such a such a uh, such a young adult come back home uh, um, maybe at work people uh, would point fingers so they they are afra afraid of rejection and they uh, they will not do it but uh, it happens in India where rape is rampant uh, people don't do much about it uh, even in the US and the Canada uh, stories are going around that uh, sports teams they get these hookers uh, girls they the girls know what they are getting into but they don't expect all this type of behavior and uh, it's it's not accepted but you know quietly people say you know what yeah it happens and if it happens uh, it's not quite such a big of a deal like uh, when uh, people get in trouble for uh, by the society not necessarily by the cops or by the law legal system so, uh, so again, I, I, I was trying to make a shorter video, but I could not, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think I'm going to ride my bicycle. It's too dark for that. Uh, at least I saw some uh, nice color skies and uh, uh, I thought to share a couple of thoughts. Yeah, if you, uh, 
if you think that it had some value for you, uh, if you think that you need healing with this type of stuff, yeah, seek a professional who is very specialized in this type of cases. Uh, maybe they are not many, or maybe they are hard to find, but uh, probably is not a good idea to waste your time with a, with a general uh, practitioner who kind of knows but never felt it, never uh, connected, so never had these open ports listening the incoming data from this type of victims. So even the counselors have to open their mind and open some ports and also when they talk to these uh, victims they have to uh, have the skill to open their ports so the the victim has to open the heart to trust this counselor uh, in order to extract the data because the counselor is a person of trust that's why they have to be certified uh, before they uh, are allowed to practice this type of stuff because they are people of trust and uh, they have to have the skill of opening ports or uh, gateways of communication to the heart to uh, to get into intimacy of the, this type of people who suffer so anyway I thought to share a couple of stuff a, um, if you like to post uh, a kind of a positive comments uh, go ahead and uh, thank you for watching uh, and spending the time on my channel bye bye talk to you later